everyone. Um, in today's video, I wanted to do a how to resin. Um, I did a how to varnish video just a little bit ago, and I also use resin quite a bit to finish my paintings. And it's a little bit trickier to work with just because of mixing, curing, and if you don't mix it right, sometimes it doesn't work out. Um, so I just wanted to show what I'm using, um, the supplies that you need, or all the supplies that I use. Uh, so obviously, I'm, you have to have a painting um, or coasters. So today I'm going to be doing um, this painting. It was one of my airbrush pieces. I really, really like it. Uh, obviously, it's my white and blue color that I do quite often, but I wanted to finish this one so that I could actually hang it up in my house. So I always rest my canvas on a couple of cups so that the resin can just go off the sides and not um, kind of pool up if there's a little bit too much. So I just rest my canvas like that. I always wear um, gloves when I'm working with resin and also a face mask. So um, this one is, it's really small, but it's um, one of the M95 masks, I think they're called. It does have the little filters. Um, and you really don't want to be breathing in the fumes from the resin and resin does not come off with soap and water so I do wear gloves and then I always keep um, some rubbing alcohol and a lot of paper towels so that if I get any resin on my skin rubbing alcohol takes it off soap and water does not work just for mixing the resin um, I do have some stir sticks and some cups uh, the resin that I'm using is equal parts resin and hardener. So I like to use cups that have some indents or little lines on them so that I can measure out equal parts. Um, if I measure out too much for this canvas, I'm not too worried about it because I have a bunch of coasters that I'm also working on finishing up. So I can use my excess resin. And then to get air bubbles out, I just use a kitchen torch. So this is a butane torch really nice flame on that and then last but not least i have my resin so uh it's premium epoxy resin so the resin is part a and then part b is the hardener so this activates the resin to harden uh, my working time with this is normally about 20 minutes to a half hour yeah so you're supposed to mix for at least three minutes and then I will torch it when I'm done, but I will be putting my mask on so I won't be talking through everything. I'm gonna do equal parts of resin and hardener, mix them together in a slightly larger cup, and then I will be pouring it. Uh, one thing that I like to do is use my hands to smooth everything out and to make sure that I'm not getting a really thick coat uh, or else you may get some air bubbles that won't come out when you use your torch if it's too thick and that heat's not getting into the resin. So I will just go through my process and you can see how this all works.
Okay, so now that I have this first layer of resin down, um, I'm gonna let it cure about 24 hours before I do another coat. Um, I can see a few areas where I did miss a little bit of resin, so I normally do two to three coats to make sure that I get a nice even finish. Um, but I will get some pictures once it's all cured. And um, if you have questions about this process, please let me know in the comments below. Um, it's pretty much just follow the instructions on the resin for mixing times. Most of them are equal parts resin and hardener. I have seen some where it's one part resin and half a part hardener, but I've not used any of those brands. Um, you wanna make sure that you're using epoxy resin. There's also casting resin, which is for different types of projects. I don't believe casting resin will work. Um, it's for making molds and different types of items. So I hope this was a little bit helpful. Um, it is pretty easy. It just takes some time. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you think down in the comments below and I will see you guys in the next video.